Hey everyone, the Smokin' Android here with a video game walkthrough for Stardunk, brought to you by Godzilla Labs. Uh, Stardunk is basically a very well polished basketball dunk game, <clears throat> so if you're looking for a well polished quality time waster, uh, this might be something you'll want to try out. Uh, you will be downloading the free version, but in order to get rid of the ads, you will have to purchase in game star points or bucks, I can't remember, for about $2.93. Um, getting into the game after you press play, uh, you're greeted by a play online window which allows you to connect to open faint. Now, when you first enter the game offline, uh, these offline party contests take place almost instantly. And you're basically in a shootout to see how many baskets you can make before the timer runs out. Uh, these party contests consist of real people from all over the world with iPhones and Androids alike. It's a, it's a cross-platform game. Um, it's basically an MMO for basketball dunking. Now, you'll notice the four bars on the left over the basket. Uh, the point is to light those up while sinking baskets. Once they are all lit up, uh, you will get bonuses to help your score. Some of the bonuses change the way your ball behaves, and some give you up to three balls that shoot at once. When the timer is run out, you can either stop there and compare your score on the leaderboard by pressing the little arrow at the bottom right, uh, or you can continue playing by just touching the screen. Once you start progressing in the game, you will earn star points that you can use to spend on upgrade balls uh, once you unlock them by advancing in the game, which is right here. As you can see, there's uh, many balls to choose from. Um, all of them have different attributes and different looks to them. You can also customize your own ball to your liking with color and various other little neat uh, treats to enhance your dunk ability. <laughs> you can also change that trippy cool background, uh, which is the theme, and uh, how you do that is by progressing in the game and unlocking them. Overall, I would say this is a nice game to add to your collection. It's polished, has customization, it's multiplayer, and has fun music. <laughs> uh, don't forget about the trippy backgrounds. That's cool, too. So there you go, everyone. Uh, as usual, this has been The Smoke and Android. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.